So this is a quick video of the uh, Sparrant Network Emulator. I'm going to demonstrate the graphical GUI, the user interface, uh, multi-port and some of the key impairment aspects, i.e. packet delay, packet drop, jitter, uh, packet reordering, bandwidth control, etc. Um, so this is the GUI shown here. This is the sandbox where you'll actually create some uh, network configurations that you want to impair. So down the left-hand side here, we have a number of pre-configured pre pre configurations which you can choose from or you can go and create your own. This is a blank sandbox here. I'm now going to show you this is what we call, um, it's called the 12 ports vanilla uh, pre-prepared configuration. So you've got 12 ports here, so this could be 12 ports of 10 gigabit ethernet showing six uh, bi-directional links. So you see port 1 connected to port 2 in one direction here, port 1 connected to port 2 in the other direction here. Same with 3 and 4. 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 9 and 10, 11 and 12. So that's um, 6 bi-directional links, 12 ports in total. Um, you can add various uh, tools to this, impairment tools. So for instance you've got a drop packets tool, double click on that, and this is your uh, drop packets tool. Um, also for instance you've got delays, you can add uh, packet corruption, there's a whole bunch of um, things you can do down here. So it's a packet delay tool, um, you can go and double click on this and you can select a delay required. So that's 12 ports bi-directional. Um, here's one that's pre-configured, 6 ports with delays. Um, so you see there's um, ports number 1 through to 6. This is um, 6 ports, so it's 3 bi-directional links. Each one has got the delay um, tool here. So if you double click on this, you can set delay. So it's set to 100 milliseconds, so you can add another 0 and that will set it to um, one second and you can do that individually for all of these one second, confirm change and you've got up to um, five seconds worth of delay with the Spire Network Emulator that's in total okay so that's six ports with delays I'm not going to do any more on this one you can also have uh, pre-prepared configurations so or create your own so these are the, the pre-prepared with 12 ports and 6 ports. Also have a more complex network which we've created here. So see this is ports 1 to 2, so that's a bi-directional link here and this is ports 3 to 4, so another bi-directional link. Um, you can various different network impairments, so you can delay packets, packet drop, bandwidth control, jitter, uh, so it's a generic modifier that allows you to modify the contents of the, of the packet. Um, Ethernet fragmentation and packet reordering. So if you go into here, as before, you can set the delay to whatever value you want. In this case it's 50 milliseconds. I can put that up, say 500 milliseconds. Packet drop, set to 5 every 100 packets. So I can change that to say 10 every 100 packets. Bandwidth control, that's set to 5 uh, gigs. So I can decide to put that down to say 1 gigs bandwidth control, and confirm changes. That's it done. Packet jitter, maximum jitter 1.75 milliseconds, and change that to 1.5. And generic modifier, I'll get into that in detail just now, but this allows you to change the contents of the packet. Ethernet fragmentation, you can set the size of the MTU. In this case it's set to um, 1500, so I can delete that set down to um, 1200 for the maximum transmission unit. There we go, 1200. And for packet reordering, you can change the amount of uh, packet probability here for the reordering. So it's set to 50% at the moment. And set that to uh, say uh, 35%. Oh, that's set to 100, sorry. 35. Set it back to 50%. And I'll change it to 35. And that's reordering set to 35%. So you can see how it works. Very simple to use, so you can create very complex networks, just showing some of the easier ones. Um, there are much more complex pre-prepared ones here, but I just want to give you a flavour of what it looks like. Um, and that's all for just now. Thanks.
Bye.